My name is George Fontaine. I'm running for District House, um, District 11 for State House of Representatives. Uh, I've been a longtime Kihei resident. I plan to focus my campaign and if I'm elected to office working on jobs in the economy, improving our education system, and also looking at affordable housing being part of the major issues that I want to address in the next legislative session. I'm a retired police captain. I've worked for Nahali Maui, which is a community-based land trust organization. I've served as vice chair for the Maui County Civil Service Commission. Uh, I've been involved with the Catholic Task Force on Homelessness, uh, helping to get the homeless people off the beaches and out of our parks and into shelters. I've been active in the community as a past president of the Key Community Association for many year, a few years back, and uh, would like to continue to my community service and uh, serve you, the voters, um, at the next le state legislature. Um, one of the questions that has come up in the past legislative session is based on medical marijuana. Are you in support or against the legalization of medical marijuana dispensaries or compassion centers in Hawaii? Well, I understand that there is a need for people out there to uh, have med access to medical marijuana. Right now, what we've seen in other states with other dispensaries is that they're just ripe for abuse. And until that situation is figured out and we get, can get a handle on how to properly distribute marijuana, uh, I'm against it. And we also need to look at repealing the federal law. Having the federal government just say they're not going to enforce it is not good enough for me. I think that if we really are going to truly go down that path and provide medical marijuana for those who need it, then it needs to start with the federal government repealing the law and then looking at ways that we can do it in a manner that it will not get in the hands of kids, that it actually goes to people who actually need the substance. Education has been at the forefront of this whole past year with the Furlough Friday situation. What is your stance on locally controlled school boards and do you think that that could help to facilitate the situation? Oh, absolutely. I was, when I ran before in 2008, um, I supported local school boards and I also support equal funding for charter schools and not having any type of cap on the funding for, for charter schools. I think it's important that we have to diversify our education system and not have it be a state-run system. Unfortunately, with all the unions and everything else in play, whether we're ever going to able to accomplish that goal and break apart the DOE is another matter. What I'd like to start on first is looking at doing an audit of the DOE and looking at where this billion dollars, 40% of our taxpayer money, is going into this organization. And from what it appears from the partial audit that was done, the system is uh, ripe with abuse and um, other kinds of situations that are happening within the DOE that are causing a lot of wasteful spending. I think if we can get cut back on the wasteful spending, look at ways of improving the salaries of our teachers and improving our school facilities, giving more local control to the principals, teachers, students, parents of a local school, that's where we need to start. That's the first step, is a complete independent audit. In the past few years, we've dealt with the super ferry issue. Should it be here? Should it not be here? Some of the Maui residents were the most vocal about the situation. Given the current economic climate, would you support the return of the Hawaii super ferry to help stimulate the inter-island commerce? As soon as that environmental impact statement is done and we can show that the ferry can operate in the waters around the state of Hawaii uh, and not harm our environment, I think that the way that it was handled the first time um, was kind of putting the cart before the horse. I think we should have gone through the process and taken out all of these questions that have been raised about the environmental issues. I'm not in support of the government running the super ferry. If the super ferry is to come back, it needs to be run totally by a private organization without any type of state uh, subsidy or funding. This is something that needs to be run by a private enterprise and not yet another government program. The transient accommodations tax has been a key issue for Maui residents. Um, the mayors fought for it as well as the state legislature. Um, if elected to serve, what would you do to ensure that Maui keeps its share of the TAT tax? Well, I would vote against any type of legislation that would eliminate our, our transit accommodation tax. You know, so much of our economy here on Maui is uh, relies on that income that we get from that tax. All of our government programs and services that the county provides relies on that transit accommodation tax. And I don't think it's fair that legislature, legislatures in Oahu are making decisions about tax money or revenue that's garnered within our county. That money needs to stay in our county and help our county programs. Okay. 
And any closing thoughts? This is your opportunity to talk a little bit about your campaign, give people, your constituents, um, contact information. Absolutely. Um, you can go on the web. Um, my web address is really easy to remember. It's Fontaine, my last name, the number four, Maui.com. You can read about our campaign. You can also donate, find out about future events. You can also find me on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash George Fontaine, take you right to my um, Facebook page. We have almost 400 friends online right now that I communicate with on an almost daily basis. We'd love to see you get involved and make some posts. Uh, add me as a friend and you'll get uh, all kinds of information about what I'm doing, where I'm walking, uh, different kinds of campaign events that we're having. We're having an event on August 29th at Hanley Equi Equipment Rental uh, at 5 p.m. August 29th. Love to see you come out and support uh, a local business. And you can hear more about my candidacy on that evening.